A pesky problem has gotten worse. Seems to be continuing to get worse. We're talking about the spotted lanternfly, and the ones born this year have matured into adults now, and they are a major threat to the agriculture industry in our region. WFMZ's Josh Rothenberg is live outside in our parking lot, where we have seen the problem here firsthand. Josh? Yeah, Rob, these things are everywhere. Take a look on this tree right here, and you can see a bunch of them just grouped together. As we speak, they are killing this tree, and the problem is that they are everywhere, as I just said. There's no good way to actually get rid of them, and this isn't the only thing that they're attaching themselves to. There is no predators to keep them contained or anything. They will destroy like vineyards, tree, hardwoods, so everybody's going to suffer. The spotted lanternfly first invaded Boyertown, Berks County in 2014 via Southeast Asia. Since then, they've spread into neighboring states. They are a beautiful looking bug. They are, but invasive. Typically found on Tree of Heaven tree trunks, they live one generation at a time. Their eggs hatch in May, and then babies mature into one and a half inch adults in late July, early August. The adults are black, white spots, they have red on them, on their wings. They're about an inch and a half long. Then they lay eggs in September before dying off as soon as it gets cold in December. Each egg mass holds about 30 to 50 eggs, and each female can put about five to seven egg masses out. The spotted lanternfly has posed a significant threat to agriculture, specifically the grape, tree fruit, hardwood, and nursery industries. Ivan Gaiman says one inexpensive way to stop them from reproducing is sticky tape bands. Scraping the eggs would be the best. Egg masses would be the best. If all else fails, stomp on them. Them. Make it jump first because they're good jumpers. It takes them a little bit to reset their legs. So as soon as they land, that's when you do it. Just like my 30-year-old self. Meanwhile, news of the insects' travel plans have worried locals. How are we going to fix this problem? That's the question. Because if they start taking out grapes and all of that, it could lead to other stuff. Now, the spotted lanternflies have also been compared to hitchhikers. They hop on your car, they travel with you, so experts say check your ride before you leave unless you actually want to be these bug chauffeur. I can tell you they're good to hold if you can actually hold them, but they're pretty gross, Rob.